India's space agency launches a rocket from its facility north of Chennai on board a $15 million test craft. It hopes will mark an important step towards the country's first reusable space shuttle. After climbing to an altitude of 70 kilometres, the craft re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, exposing it to temperatures up to 2,000 degrees Celsius. Whether the thermal coating on the space plane can withstand that kind of a heat pressure is one thing that needs to be um, uh, sort of vetted at, at this particular stage. Until now, only the US, USSR, Japan and Europe have successfully launched reusable shuttles. NASA's space shuttle was a vital part of its space program for 30 years. It flew 135 missions until it was decommissioned in 2011. Now the US has this. It's Air Force's X-37B orbital test vehicle. It's currently in orbit, it's been there for the last year, and it's on its third unmanned flight. However, its secret activities have provoked speculation that it's a spy satellite or it's being tested to deliver weapons from space. Then there's the Dream Chaser, the shuttle private space company Sierra Nevada is working on to service the International Space Station. Its first trip is planned for 2019. And then, of course, India's space shuttle. It's in a much earlier stage of development. It's being reported that it has between 10 and 15 years of work left in it before it will come into service. In 2014, India celebrated putting a spacecraft into orbit around Mars, making it the first Asian nation to do so. There is a flourishing military space program under the Chinese military leadership, and that is a direct challenge for India, which India has to respond, otherwise we are going to be left lagging behind. India plans a number of further tests of the technology, including the supersonic scramjet engine it hopes will one day power the spacecraft. It says its Mars mission cost about a tenth of that of other missions to the Red Planet. And if its reusable space shuttle can achieve the same savings, space travel will be much more affordable for all. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.